What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got speed over here in the top left. I'm not really sure if I'm going to release this video or not. This is um, just kind of on a whim here, casting this little series versus Hyun. But speed's been pretty hot recently. I, I just I don't know what we're going to get out of this series, if it's going to be worth putting out, but speed is pretty awesome right now he's been doing very very well basically wherever he's playing whether that's in kcm or the ssl and kind of blowing everybody's mind with how strong he's become and you can really see that he's been practicing a lot and hyun is a player that's been surprising me quite a bit as well He's been showing some really ga great gameplay, although he hasn't had very much success in tournament recently. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this player and uh, we'll see what speed has for us here on Monty Hall because speed is a really interesting character. He's known as uh, 10 minute flash. Uh, that's like a, a self self-proclaimed 10 minute flash he, you know people didn't make that nickname up for him i think he came up with that on his own um kind of claiming that he can play like flash for the first 10 minutes and apparently in one of his interviews in the ssl recently he said that he upgraded himself to 15 minute flash he says he can play like flash for 15 minutes now he's improved that much so that is interesting. I mean, he knows it. We know it. He has been improving a lot. Humble guy, though. Giving himself a nickname like that. Factory out here in the middle of the map. Interesting decision. He's hiding this intentionally from the Overlord that's coming straight across the map. And he should be able to keep this a little bit secret. I don't think that uh, there's really any way for Hyun to find this because he can't send a drone just directly out on the map and the overlord is heading in the wrong path i don't know why you would ever scout this direction um with that overlord this is a sick build actually and what i think we're gonna see here is him build a vulture send the scv down here to see if there's a base and then if there's no base he's gonna float it over the wall and build another vulture but that's just that's just what i'm thinking for now Oh, double starport. Yeah, I think he probably sends this down. And then as soon as he sees it, he could cancel. Is that what we're going to have? But cancel. He sees. Oh, okay. Maybe he'll jump it over. No, that makes sense. Send the vulture over here. You can put the vulture right next to the mineral patch. You can click the mineral patch here with the SCV. And then you can hop the vulture into the main base. Now, what do we have in this main? A Hydra Den is just about done. The lair is finishing up here. And Hyun is going to be in a lot of trouble, man. And he's got a lot of links here. And Link Speed just finished. So let's see if he can catch this vulture. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. One drone. Let's see how he controls here speed pretty strong with the control i like the decision there to just get one more drone and not focus too much on the uh, micro against all of these lings it's going to be hard he just gets one more and he's going to be happy with that if he tucked it a little bit deeper in behind the minerals he might have gotten a couple more shots off but i doubt he could have gotten another kill so he did do what i thought he was going to do float the the uh, factory over the wall oh and one more kill there as well nicely done manages to get that little bit more damage total three drones killed so far this vulture out here not really gonna get too much done but this is a great map for a play like this because back at home you don't need anything all of this is blocked off and Hyun, he, he just has to sit here and take it. He can't really counterattack right now. He's going to build Hydras. He lost an Overlord. He is supply blocked. Groove Spine's on the way. I like that choice. Going for the range first is, I think, the correct choice uh, against the uh, double starport play. 
Otherwise, the rates can really abuse the lack of range. One more drone goes down. So total four kills so far. Four drones have been lost for Hyun. And four wraiths are now going to join up. Begin their assault once again on this uh, natural base. How many more hydras do we have coming out? Seven more hydras on the way. That seems like a lot of commitment for someone who can't even attack. <laughs> it's a, a little bit crazy to be building seven more hydras right now. I feel like you could build, you know, ten more, ten drones instead of that, and just build a spore or something, or even just have like four hydras at each base should be enough to hold off five wraiths gonna fly in once again let's see if we can get any more drones here hydras taking some pot shots six wraiths now total and yeah there's plenty of hydras to defend this another hatchery coming up oh 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 can't be losing this can't be losing any more drones there we go with the six wraiths you can one shot the drones there he does pick off one so now you can't re one shot anymore but still, picking off this many drones this early on in the game is pretty rough. Nice job there by Hyun. Walking out and catching the race when they were not expecting it. Some barracks coming down behind this. Building marines and medics right now. And he can just build medics. He doesn't even need marines. Just save up some energy because he can't be attacked. It's a really good build here from speed but look at that speed for the overlords and now drop is coming up he's gonna try and go across the map with hydras and then just drop over this wall he's gonna walk all the way up here maybe he builds a spore behind this does he have an evo chamber on the way there it is they build a spore in each base so he doesn't just die to a wraith counter and then we're gonna see him go across the map with a lot of hydras now i'm not so sure that this is going to work because as you can see we've already got quite a few marines and uh, stim is done range is on the way um a bunch more barracks are finishing up and hydras they just do not fight well against these marines so i don't think this is going to work too well but let's see lurker is coming up if he gets lurkers out then that kind of changes things the armor is going to help out a lot too two more drones go down speed very good with that control man he is very very strong with this control managing to get out 27 drones though actually ahead in workers over speed speed kind of cutting workers quite a bit right now to make sure that he's got enough marines He's going to start to mine out these patches. We might not even need Overlord drop. It might not even be necessary that upgrade. Let's see. Moving around. Does he build the spore? I don't see the spore. That would be unfortunate if he just didn't build a spore. You can leave like three hydras at home, but don't you want to bring everything? Oh gosh. Two more drones. Three more drones go down. You get another one. This is some great damage. Four drones go down. He's getting so much from these raids. Five drones go down. This is amazing, Micro. Really, really well done here. Two overlords heading out on the map. They're going to go all the way around, I guess, and try to hit this base. Lurker upgrade is done. Do we have lurkers on the way? I don't see any. You really need some lurkers because the marines are on they're coming they're gonna be here soon and he's supply blocked he actually cannot make lurkers right now i feel like this is a very well thought out and very well executed build from speed Yan is gonna get caught completely off guard here by this and i think he's just gonna have to tap out yeah there's nothing there's no way that he can hold this these marines coming in are unbeatable Especially with the Hydras trying to come through this little tiny gap and getting all clogged up. Marines just have such better surface area. They're, they're a little bit smaller. They can stand next to each other. They have healing as well. Easy mode. Easy cleanup here from speed. That was 
very impressive. We might see this build in SSL, guys. Speed, when he gets on this map. I mean, what? where was the counterplay for Hyun? How is he supposed to actually fight back against this uh, when forced into a Hydra build? Like, it, it really didn't feel like he had a lot of options here. And speed, like, he knew exactly what he was doing. Stopping at 27 workers. If this attack doesn't really work, he's going to have a hard time. But, hey, I mean, think about it, guys. If you've got a bunch of sunkins here or something, got a bunch of lurkers here, how hard would it be for speed to just build a dropship? You just build a dropship and just fly it into your base. He could, you know, drop over these walls, start to go into your main. There's a lot of options here for speed, even if this frontal assault doesn't end up working. It really feels like you need to go air here as Zerg. I don't know how players are going to deal with this. I'm going to look out for more games on Monty Hall. Watch out for other games with speed on this map as well but we're gonna jump into game number two we've still got another one so let's go check it out all right here we go with the run back speed in the top right hand corner Yun. I'm a little embarrassed i think after that last game man sometimes as zerg you just feel so impotent it really is crazy maybe i i guess it's all races right if you're Terran and You've got a Protoss player just ragdolling you. Or you're a Protoss and you're just getting all your Templars sniped and you really can't do anything. The feeling of impotence and just the inability to do anything when a Terran player is 1-1-1-ing you like that or double Starport playing you like that is it's it's crazy. It feels like you just you can't build anything you can't do anything if you build spores then you get way far behind because you waste the drones and so much money uh, on static defense if you don't build spores uh, and you just try to defend with hydras then you lose a bunch of drones and uh, overlords then then you can't build anything because you don't have any drones you don't have any income everything just it it's so tough and speed really showing us the power of that build in the last game the strength behind the double star port play on monty hall is kind of ridiculous it's it's really op honestly in that uh really difficult map situation we've got speed building into a wall going for a one rack cc He's got an SCV heading across the map. I wouldn't trust what this SCV sees, honestly, because if the drone is uh, spotting that, Lynx could be coming around here and just avoiding this SCV completely, its vision. But he's going to get in. He's going to see that the hatchery is done here in just a moment. Oh my goodness, he's actually getting moving shot on this? Speed really has leveled up, man. That's some incredible control. Oh my god oh oh the mo the move commands can he get it oh oh so close seven it's above one hit it's above one hit and it will have to back off okay Whew. yeah that would just add insult to injury you just lost to a two port wraith play and now you're gonna lose a your first drone to a single SCV? Hell no. Absolutely not. Double barracks into an academy rush. We're going to put on some pressure, as Speed likes to do. He's one of the few people who hasn't fully switched over to the early plus one build. I feel like so many Terran players are just like almost exclusively doing that build now because it's so powerful and speed just doesn't seem to be interested in that he likes the pressure he likes to put on the pressure to the zerg he likes to be in their face he likes to force the sunken colonies and 
Maybe that's a comfort thing. Maybe, you know, he just, he understands the game state so much better. When he goes for this build, that this is, this is just how he wants to play so that he can, you know, make the right decisions. He, he can simplify the decision tree for himself. Um, maybe he just hasn't bothered to, to go ahead and learn that plus one build, but either way, he's going to be relying on this, the old faithful. His move out coming across the map now. It's going to wait for one fire bat to pop. That'll go right into this wall along with the marine to make sure that these links don't counterattack and cause any headaches for him. There's that fire bat coming out. Let me just pop it right in that little... Oh, sending it out. Well, that's a little bit surprising. I thought he would just uh, keep that back at home, but he is going to let that go forth. And the Marines are going to pressure. Mutas are popping just in time here. Wow, these are pretty early Mutas. The a pretty quick uh, layer from Yun. And he is going to get out here in time. He has the four Marines, but there's no range. And without the range, it's a little bit hard to fight these. Small group of Medic Marine is going to find this a challenge. And as soon as the... Muta number starts to get a little higher. And the Lings come forward, and he should be able to pick this off. You know, not able to pull that one Mutalisk out that was damaged, but only losing one Mutalisk to clean up that whole stack of Marine Medic is pretty decent. A few Lings went down as well, too, but pretty inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. Another hatchery starts. That's interesting. That's a pretty quick fourth hatch. That's, um... That's not the decision I would expect. Like, you could see a evolution chamber here after cleaning the first marine medic ball. You could see, like, uh, a hydralis den. You could see a queen's nest. You could see a, a fourth, or a, not a fourth, excuse me. The fourth hatchery is not what I would be expecting right now. Oh! Two mutas get out with almost no HP. And quite a bit of damage was just done. Really good, solid damage here with 26 workers to 30 drones. This man, he's feeling great. One kill, just one Ling gets killed by that uh, fire bat. These drones will make their way over to the third base. And the fourth hatch. I wonder what the plan is here with this. Where is this going? No other tech buildings being produced. Is he just going to overwhelm with a Ling? Oh, there's the Hydralis Den. And the Queen's Nest coming down at the third now. Yeah, this is solid. This is solid play from Hyun. Um, I just, I really want to emphasize how rare this is to see another hatch get thrown down like that. It's so different. Maybe he just had a glut of minerals. Maybe the gas just wasn't coming in as fast. I have no idea. But I'm really curious about this, this extra hatchery and what it's going to be used for. Single SCV heading out on the map. Looks like it's going to be spotted. And it should be picked off. There it is. Marine's going to come out. Start to put on some pressure, but... You know, this is only two racks. He's got a third one added on now, but... It's not a lot of Marines, and... If this Marine group gets crushed again, then we're going to have just completely free reign. Five Marines going around the left-hand side... Has this been spotted? I don't think so. Hyun is completely in the dark when it comes to these five Marines, and they're just going to stim and go. This is some sick play, and actually the Mutas are on the wrong side of this while it's coming in, and so we're going to lose a lot of drones. Probably every drone at this base. Okay, like two drones get away? That is crazy. That's so many kills, and... Now he's given himself the worker lead once again. It's still not a terrible position for Hyun. I mean, 29 to 31, that's that's reasonable, very reasonable. Uh, in this circumstance, you should actually transfer a few of these drones just because you don't want to oversaturate. Um, and you'll get a lot more out of your base bases if you just have one drone per patch rather than, you know, uh, 1.5 or 
uh, two drones per patch. Now coming in with a lot of marine uh, mutas. Excuse me. My God, these marines are wrecking these mutas though. He is gonna lose the fight. Speed's gonna lose the fight, but I I think this is still a pretty reasonable trade for him. Mm, I don't know. That looked insane to me. Like it looked like that should never work for Hyun, but somehow that managed to work. I really can't explain it. Kind of crazy. A lot of links popping out. Some hydras being produced. Hive is done. We don't have the okay. Evolution chamber is coming up, but no defilers mount just yet. There it is. Defiler mount here. And hydras being pumped out. Hyun just looking very strong. Really, against this standard style of play, he's looking incredible. The only thing that was really off from him was that five marine move or run by. That's that's the only thing that's gone wrong so far. And that wasn't even that big of a hiccup. You know, he was still able to come in and clear that marine medic group. And he's still going to hit this big timing with what? What is this? Nine lurkers that are about to show up at the, the front bait, the, the front of uh, speed space. That is so many lurkers. Oh, my goodness. He's going to be able to create like a wall here. Uh, if speed doesn't leave his base right now and as soon as that wall is set up okay it's gonna move out right now but that actually might be even worse <laughs> it might be even worse than just staying at home and the mutas are gonna come in and the lurkers are gonna push up to the front everything jumps inside the bunker but this is so many lurkers he can just hammer this down easily all these lurkers are gonna move forward here comes the scourge as well oh scourge are having a hard time connecting there we go does get that one um, lurkers that are irradiated need to burrow so that they can stop killing each other. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage from that one irradiate. A lot of panicking going on here from Speed. He's really trying to block these lurkers out of his main, but here they are on top of the barracks now. Getting on top of everything, killing off the marines as they're popping out, and GG is called. Speed taps out, and Hyun wins this one. I mean, decent game here from speed. I thought that that five marine move out doing so much damage was actually going to affect the game a lot more. But Hyun having good control with his mutas and then having the right call with Lings and mutas at this point, I, I want to say that that was not something that I would usually do. That is like, uh, that is a hard call to make to just be like, okay, uh, I have exactly enough mutas right now to just kill this and just go for it. Yeah, this move right here was sick. That did so much damage and it actually brought speed into a really good spot. Maybe he should have gone back home for a little bit. Maybe he should have reinforced this immediately to just stay out in front here rather than trying to push out any further i guess we know what the extra hatchery was for hey eh? it's more lings a lot more lings being produced than i guess normal than what you would you would expect let's just take a look at this fight right before it happened we've got what's this 10 and 6 we got 16 mutas there's a 17th muta i don't know if that's going to be pulled together here He's setting up with it. Seven, 16 meters, he sees it. How many links does he have? He's got more than 12. He's got like 14, 14 links. But this is two groups of medic and marine with four medics, five medics. Two groups of medic and marine with five medics. And they're sitting on high ground. Just waiting for the enemy to come. They're not like spread out or anything like that. This is crazy. I can't believe that this ended up working. That's really, really crazy. This is only 15 meters now. There's a there's a ling mixed in there. So 15 meters and about 14 lings. And he somehow managed to win this. That is crazy. He just run right in on top of everything. The mutas die really quick because the marines are mostly focusing them. The lings actually clean up incredibly well. 
And the medics, of course, just end up um, going down after the fact, but... That is, that is crazy to me. I would, <laughs> I would never want to take a fight like that because I've done it before and I know what happens when you do fights like that, when you just f fly in and sit your entire meta group on top of their Marine group. And it's not like he was, you know, picking off at the side and lowering the Marine count really, really low to where it's like, you know, one control group or one and a half control group. And he just dives on top of it with overwhelming numbers that felt like a very even fight there was like like i said 16 or 15 mutas and 12 lings or 14 lings against 24 marines that's so close to the same number oh my gosh it's so ridiculous that that actually managed to work we only had plus one but we didn't have any upgrades on the zerglings and we only had plus one attack on the mutas <laughs> Yeah, that's wild to me that that ended up working. And it's really crazy that Hyun went for this extra hatchery. That's, that is shocking. Something totally different from him. And just having, I guess, I guess that just gives you a few more links than, than you would regularly expect here. Maybe that was just barely enough to turn the tide in that fight. He had just the critical mass. Just barely the critical mass necessary to make that happen. It's like he's even got some links over here. You know what? The links didn't even matter. He's got links over here that are not even fighting. That he completely forgot about. So scratch that. This hatchery didn't even matter. It was just Hyun's control or something. That was not even that well controlled, honestly. The mutas just flew in. I don't know what to tell you guys. I am a little bit flabbergasted right now. I don't know if I'm going to put this one out. But if I do, I hope you enjoyed it. Kind of a wild one. I'm a big fan of speed. I, I rate this guy very highly. Um, I honest, I, I said that he was going to go through uh, and advance in the SSL. And I think you guys can see why he is a very strong player. Um, especially with those unorthodox plays, right? This is more of an orthodox game. And it seems like Hyun had his number here. But in that last game... The tables were absolutely turned. With that double Wraith play, he is incredibly strong. Thanks, guys, again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.